What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP. I want to talk about something I just see uh, going on very often and it's the person who is the indecisive bulker or indecisive about their programming and I think this is a very common mistake uh, a lot of people are making which is ruining their chances for gains or really to realize you know put on good lean mass or really see the effect of this of the planning they're on. Um, indecisiveness period will just kill you. Um, what do I mean? Uh, I've been seeing a lot of other YouTube channels or people talking on Instagram or questions that I've been getting on my Facebook page or whatever the case may be about people saying oh I want to go in a bulk for like 8 to 12 weeks and I'm going 8 to 12 weeks? Well yeah I don't want to put on too much fat and um, you know uh, I, ju I just want to see how it goes. And my, my thing is this, if you're gonna bulk, bulk. And by that, I don't mean do a dirty bulk, just eat a ton of food over your maintenance and get fat. But do a proper lean bulk, which means to eat slightly over your maintenance calories, um, and maybe a pound to a half a pound a gain of, a, a week uh, is what you're looking at. Um, some weeks might be a little less than that, you might say stagnant, but whatever the case may be, I say a half a pound to a pound a week is somewhat reasonable. And you're going to want to commit to that, I would say, for a good six to eight months, um, if not longer, depending on how well your body is responding and how good you are um, at staying just slightly over maintenance. So the, the, the more perfect you are, the, the better the result will be in the end. And I think that's why like, people are constantly bulking and cutting and cutting and bulking, or should I cut or should I bulk, and they're constantly playing games. So if you're going to bulk, bulk, period, end of statement commit to it for an extended period of time same thing with your planning uh, don't start a plan for three weeks or four weeks and then next the next month change it if you're gonna follow a program like let's say daily undulated periodization and you're doing it and you make I don't know 50 60 70 pounds uh, increase in your lifts or more why would you then go and change your programming it makes no sense to me um, you know, I constantly see it's like, oh, one week so they'll be doing a five by five or a five three one. The next week they'll be doing a push pull legs, and they're constantly obsessing over their split every five seconds. And in the end, you end up costing yourself a ton of gains because you're sitting there constantly playing games and trying to correct everything when you already had something that was working to begin with. So, for the, the, this whole video, the main topic is be decisive about what it is that you want to do. If you want to bulk, then by also by all means bulk. You have to, um, and you're gonna have to extend. You know, you got you have to put a little bit of fat on as you're doing it. There's no other way around it. Uh, there are, as far as I'm aware of, no perfect ratios of macros, which I see, that are gonna help you build muscle and keep fat off, or build muscle and cut fat at the same time. Um, if you're gonna bulk, bulk. And if you're gonna do a program, stick with it. Stick with it for at least six to eight, six to eight months. Um, there's no point to hop around from program to program in search of something that might be better when the current programming you already have is working. If your programming's working, as they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, guys? So I'll talk to you soon.